Okay, so let's suppose you have two functions. Uh, let's call the first function f of x. Let's call the second one g of x. If you wanted to do some operations such as adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing with these two functions, you can using function notation. And this is what it looks like. Now, it may look complex, but it actually is just a form of writing it in function notation. So when you have two functions that are being added, you'll see it uh, written like this, f plus g of x, which simply means you're just adding f of x and g of x functions together. f minus g of x means you're just subtracting the two functions. When they're stuck together, the two variables, that means that you're going to multiply the two functions. And if you have one on top of the other in fraction style, that means you're going to be dividing the two functions. So here we're given two functions, and we are asked to find f plus g of x. So we're simply just going to add the two functions together. Um, another way you can see it is f of x plus g of x. Sometimes it's written that way as well, but the bottom line is we need to add those two functions. When you're adding terms, recall that for polynomials, you can only add or combine like terms. So in other words, you'll start with the x squared family and combine those terms. So com combining a positive 1 uh, with a negative 3 is going to give me a negative 2. Uh, combining the first degree terms, a negative 3 with a negative 7, is going to give me negative 10x for my middle term. And combining the last term, the constant, combining those sevens is going to give me 14. So the answer is negative 2x squared minus 10x plus 14.